welcome to the Terrible Take, a mini podcast telling Steelers Nation what's on our minds. I'm Joe Clark. The identity of the Pittsburgh Steelers has almost always been the team's defense. And it was the defense that was able to lead them to a win over the Cleveland Browns on Monday Night Football, scoring two defensive touchdowns and bringing Deshaun Watson down six times. But this is a team that sells glaring holes defensively that they need a fix in their Sunday Night Football matchup against the Las Vegas Raiders. No one should be worried about T.J. Watt or Alex Highsmith. Those guys are ballers who are going to make plays. Larry Ogunjobi is at a nice start to the season, too, and Cole Holcomb flash on Monday night. But the team's run defense is dead last in the NFL, with Minka Fitzpatrick needing to come up and make plays in the run game. It's reminiscent of 2021, when the run defense lost Pittsburgh games they should have won. With Josh Jacobs on tap Sunday, the run defense is going to be a concern, and it's a facet of the game that the Steelers undoubtedly have to improve. But it's far from the only one. When the Steelers aren't getting pressure on the quarterback, they're getting picked apart in coverage. Levi Wallace looks slow and has had a really tough start to the season. He was brutal against Samari Cooper on Monday night, allowing him to pull in seven receptions for 90 yards. Patrick Peterson has struggled in man coverage, and the Steelers don't think Joey Porter Jr. is ready to progress from being a dime cornerback. The Las Vegas Raiders have a talented wide receiver room with Devontae Adams, Jacoby Myers, and Hunter Renfro, all three of whom will suit up on Sunday. Renfro isn't on the same level as the other two, but he had 44 yards and a touchdown against the Steelers last season, and the team can't forget about him with Myers and Adams also in the fold. I'm worried about Pittsburgh's defense right now. The cornerback room is one of the biggest concerns heading into the season, and maybe if Desmond King the second gets a helmet this week, he could be an asset. But it's been a rough go of it so far, and the run defense has been terrible. A lot of that is a byproduct in this tackles, an issue that the Steelers need to clean up. Defense is going to need to show a lot on Sunday especially with the struggles of the offense. Let's hope they can play their best game of the season. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDeeper.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast with Alex Kazor and Dave Bryan every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Go Steelers!